Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3 World War 1 mod. Yesterday, we unleashed what I have dubbed Operation Waffles and Treats. I don't know why, it was just the most Belgian things I could think of when I was trying to think of the name of uh, what my operation could be. But we have almost completely surrounded Brussels, and we've taken some French land, basically just uh, some breathing room to give our little... Um, assault here uh, you, know, you know a little room to move uh, to keep this encirclement uh, safe we are transferring units from the blockade basically over here uh, down into this region and I, I didn't really realize how much Russian territory we actually did overrun already it's quite a bit we're actually moving in on Serbia as well and now that there's not really ridiculous constant combat I'm able to uh, speed four and five through a lot of time and uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, see if we can't. I think we should. Let's do this. Um, you and you and you move here. Uh, numbers are definitely an extremely, extremely important thing uh, in this game. Uh, the tech, everybody's tech, I think, is basically on par with each other when it terms time in, in terms of artillery and infantry weapons and things like that. A uh, German weapon shipment intercepted. Um, we have intercept the United Kingdom intercepted the German merchant SMS uh, Liebau, disguised as Norwegian merchant ship Oud. Oud? Oud? I don't know. It was carrying weapons and supplies thought to be going to Ireland. Interesting. Uh, I was to be. No, I don't have anything to do with it. And I w now that I was thinking about it, um, I feel like this this city right here, Vilno. I feel like that was a really important Russian fortress that held out for a really long time against the Germans until they bombarded the shit out of it with art heavy artillery, I think. I don't know why, that name sounds so familiar. Do not know. Hmm. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, I, I'm definitely interested in the Serbian situation. Oh, there's French units down here. Who? French bastards. Alright, uh, let's see if we can't take out this garrison unit. I wouldn't imagine a gar... Oh! He's got a defense modifier of 300%. It's the highest I've seen. So let's, uh, let's cancel that. We'll just surround it uh, down the other way. Once we clear this up, we should have um, nine more divisions to work with. Nine free divisions. Okay. Can we... Okay, well, Greece. Oh, it's over here. No big deal. Greece. I was about to say, what the hell is Greece doing? Alright, now, I believe this... We... That we... We have managed to sink... Okay, those are... How are... Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm a little confused. How are they still getting ships through here. I thought if you controlled both sides of the Suez Canal that... Huh. I thought if you controlled both sides, they couldn't pass through. Color me confused. No big deal. Can you move this way? You can't. Oh, actually. Um, you move there, you move there, you move here. Keep forgetting about North Africa. German troops fighting in North Africa. Not surprising at all. Alright, if we could keep rolling up some of this French line, that would actually be wonderful for me. Uh, let's see what we got here. Two French divisions. We could support the attack from other sides as well. And put five German divisions on two French divisions. And when these, when these new troops move in over here, then we'll be able to uh, really cut off Brussels and surround it. What is this? Those are Russian revolutionaries or something like that? I don't know who that is. I think cavalry up here or something. Let's send back and fix that up. Get that all set. Continuing the attack against the Russians because frankly, we can. Uh, the city of Vilno is undefended means we can just waltz right in, basically. 
And are we going to get reinforcements up here in time? We might. I don't know. I hope my reinforcements get there in time. I think they will. But, uh... There we go. They got in there. And just in time to lose the battle. Unfortunate. Okay, that's not a big deal. All right, you guys go back there. You stay here. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. All right, what do we want to do here? Can we move? Oh, why do these guys... Did he recently get his ass kicked or he just not have supplies? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Hmm, let's get you moved around this way, please. There's nobody else there, so we're definitely going to want to leave that there. Okay, we got troops moving. I mean, we've we, we've dealt a, dealt, I feel like we've dealt a pretty devastating blow to the French. Uh, no, now that, that, we can actually, we can continue this, I think. I wasn't planning on continuing this offensive, but... I think we can help them support the attack. If we can continue the offensive and take as much land as we possibly can, I'd be ecstatic. And what's your cooldown? 27. Okay. Got more troops moving around this way. They're, I think they're actually pulling troops out of this area to help that, this, this little salient that's forming. Which is good for me. I'm not going to say no. Free salient. Okay, so, let's see. Can you attack here? And do I have somebody? Yep, you attack there. And you attack there. And if they're not defending Minsk, we should be able to waltz right in. Oh, they moved somebody into Vilno. Oh, we might be able to break through, though. We might be able to break through. We'll find out soon. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty thrilled about how this is going so far. How is our fleet? Uh, basically, basically back up to scratch. Everybody is repaired except for Nuremberg, and I don't. Did we get our? Okay, we. It might be because a lot of our. Well, actually, no. A lot of our things are not uh, getting wrecked at the moment, so we can con we can do our own convoy raiding. We can we can go like have our guys well set them on convoy raiding instead of patrolling, and see how they do straight in the English Channel. You know what? It might be a better idea, like over here. There we go. That might be a better idea. Okay, I think that's. I think we're good here. Now I don't think there's a river crossing there, so we should be fine. But we can uh, support attack from the flank as well. The first four division is attacking us. No, we moved in there. Yeah, we're moving into French territory now. All right, so uh, we don't want this. We don't want our flank to fall. So let's cancel that attack and defend. Um, yeah, let's cancel that one as well. A lot of troops moving in this way, though, so we should be okay. Uh, whoa, that was a pretty... That was a pretty bloody battle for this mod. Like, 3,000 men dead. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So, convoys will be done on the 27th, so we're almost to that. Let's just actually speed ahead until that finishes. We've taken more French land in Operation Waffles and Frites than I necessarily anticipated. And as, as much as I'd like to... Ooh, shit. We're gonna hit pretty hard right here, so... Let's... Let's fall back before these units are crushed. Yeah, they're hitting it hard from two sides, and normally I would just launch a counterattack right there, but these guys are on cooldown at the moment. 
All right, so when are you, you guys are almost ready. So I can launch these guys into this attack now, and those guys will take their place on the line. I'm not too worried about this. We're, we're okay. I'm going to swing on over. Where's my cavalry? All right, my cavalry's coming to take care of these bastards. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is something I hate about heart. It's, it's one of my biggest pet peeves is... Um, Rebels creeping up on a border, and then all this land is going to go to Austria-Hungary because it went to it went back to Russia and then and then fell to Austria-Hungary. I hate that. Ah, it's in fear. I actually one one of the most disliked episodes uh, videos I've ever created was me ranting and raving about how much that annoyed me in my original uh, Hearts of Iron series. Let's see, um, what do I want to do? I think we want to add more war goals. Let's see. Western Russia. France, add war goal, acquire territory, Nice. And then I think we're going to want to go to this end, and I think there's a bunch, I don't know why Greece has so many territories. South Africa, no. No. Serbia, yes. Luxembourg, no. Netherlands, no. Was it Montenegro? No, I guess I got I got all of Montenegro's. Okay. I mean, look how much we we've really managed to turn the tides on them. Oh, uh, we could support attack from right there. Is it territorial pride? Oh, they're starting to get territorial pride in there. That's what's slowing us down, I think. And you guys are moving over this way. Who are you? Oh my god, I forgot about that guy. Jesus Christ. Is it worth it to keep that going? Superior firepower. Okay. That's interesting, because now I can add another brigade onto my divisions. Like, what, are the, what is the regular divisions? Are they all three? Okay, no, they're all three. So, what do we want to add to our regular infantry divisions? We want to add anti-aircraft. We want to add more artillery. That slows them down a ton, but adds oodles and oodles of... Why don't we just... Let's just do this. Let's just start throw, adding oodles of artillery in here. Let's say... Let's put in a run of, like, 30 artillery pieces. Our little... Oh, I didn't even realize that Brussels was officially surrounded now. So, are they launching an attack here? It looks like they're on the... Uh, oh, yep, there it is. So, we'll let them throw themselves against our lines. That's the only place that's in, in jeopardy right there. But it actually looks like we're pretty good. Single engine airframe advances. But we just brought in some more troops so we're good and we're gonna take Brussels although again they I'm pretty sure there are overseas territories to worry about so we're not going to actually take uh, they're not actually going to surrender that's just gonna be occupied territory so let's do this and this and this and that'll be Brussels it's actually not much in there yeah, uh, they're gobbling up my hard-earned land. And it's going to make for some border gore. Pain in the ass. I hate border gore. Everybody hates border gore. But we're going to have to deal with some border gore. Fun to say, though. Border gore. Alrighty. Ooh, what do we just build? Infantry division. And just like before, we're just going to go like this. Whoop. And where to put you? Didn't even see it where to put him. Oh well, no big deal. We'll find him eventually. Whoa, okay, so, um... Point of interest. The French have abandoned 
the fortifications in Verdun. Brussels has fallen. You need to stay there, actually, though. Brussels has fallen. Oh, that is just great. Another European capital falls to the German Empire. That just feels amazing to have finally done that. All right, and we've made some progress. No, I don't want to lock it. I want you guys to handle it on your own. Keep accidentally locking those. I feel like, oh, you know, up, more is going to uh, into upgrades before then. Yep, more is going into upgrades. I think our scouts are actually being upgraded too. Any good tech coming up soon? Uh, oh, this is a lot of plane stuff and, you know, ground um, theory. Okay, now what we need to do is take Ghent next. So we'll wait for these troops to arrive, and then we'll attack Ghent. And, ah, uh, look at the... All, you know, I, I spent I spent all this time and effort trying to, um, you know, cut off their army and and uh, make sure that land fell to me, just to have a, a you know, a weird game uh, mechanic stand in my way. You stay there. That was a VP, wasn't it? No, it was not. That one was, though. Minsk. So, uh, Russian surrender progress. 18.5%. That's actually better than I expected. That is indeed better than I expected. So, uh, Verdun has fallen to the Germans. If that is not fascinating, I don't know what is. And what did we got here? Saint Mihil. Fortifications don't seem very impressive. Now this is the problem with this: is that they they keep going, and then these guys just. It, it, I remember in my original there was because it, I think it was around Austria actually there was these like little tendrils going up into Poland. These, there was like three or four or five of them. These little tendrils that just went up and up and up and up and up and up, and just you know it was it was just the you know like one rebel unit retreating and like an Austrian unit chasing it down or something like that. How long are these guys going to take to move? A while, apparently. And this infrastructure problem threw me for a loop here. But we didn't manage to get in over this side. Alright, so you move there. No, I don't want to... If I see... That's the thing is, again, this stuff falls to Austria-Hungary, and I want to give Austria-Hungary land. I want to take land. I don't want to give it to them. I know they're my ally, but... All right, we do have more units moving in here. They're attacking my cavalry. Hopefully, they'll hold out. Now, what we need to do is assault Ghent. And this is going to be a tough one, but we're going to try it. Because if we could take Ghent, we're going to be in a good, 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 good situation. Oh, uh, why don't we check our, take a look at our convoy raiders. Sinking the hell out of some British ships. And we're making progress. Trying to launch diversionary attacks here. Help them out. Any place that I can make progress, I'm going to take the opportunity. Yeah, we're making progress at the Battle of Ghent, although they're making progress over here. Why do we have our garrison stand down? Because they're better on the defense anyway. 
Who's gonna get there first? My cavalry? Oh, Shiza! That's the problem! Who's gonna get there first? This stupid tendril of Austro-Hungary... I know it's not a big deal, it's just a Border Gore thing. I hate Border Gore. Everybody who plays Paradox games hates Border Gore. It's just... that's the only reason it infuriates me like it does. We're leaving ourselves gaps in the line now. But I think that's because we're, 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 we punched through, so we're extending out the length of the line for the first time ever. We better get there before the Austro-Hungarians do. Come on! Yes! Cut them off! See, now they don't give a rat's ass. Alright, so let's put a unit up over in hurry here, and now what we're gonna do is the old-fashioned way. Bam! Like that. Oh, oh, can't go over that way. Trying to get... Ooh! We left some infantry behind. Two full infantry divisions we left behind. That's not something you want to do. Guards corps under attack. And we... Oh, we got all these guys sent. How did that happen? Alright, let's move you guys up here. Oi. Okay, okay, I think we got this. I mean, I feel like the Russians are definitely at the end of their last leg, basically. Oh, well, no. It's, it's more like the end of their first leg. And I feel like we're at pretty historical... I think that how how much further did the Germans get down this way? I feel like we're pretty historical at the moment in terms of uh, depth of penetration. That's what she said. Alrighty, let's just leave the garrison here for now. So there's all these units in Middleburg, which are gonna get wrecked pretty soon. Alright, what are you doing here? How did you get not your teeth knocked in so badly? All these combined forces are starting to get in my way. Alright, now you can cool your tits. Alright, alright, good. Making some little bit of progress. Little bits of progress here and there. And it's, uh, that, that winter went fast now, didn't it? That was a fast winner. I think blockading these ports is going to be more important over here. Uh, let me check on something real quick. We have 117 extra ships. That's great. That's actually really good. All right, good. Sinking ships. Oh, these guys. Uh, should we let them... Um Why don't we let them cool it? So maybe we'll send them down here. Actually, let's do, let's do exactly that. Let's send them down there. Or not? Oh, there we go. We've lost the Battle of Reims. Wait, what did we just lose? Oh, we lost a little gap, didn't we? Uh, we lost a battle here. Oh, why did you guys retreat? 
You were in good. You were in a good position. Why did you retreat? We were in a perfectly strong position. I'm not sure why they bugged out. Uh, should I be almost done with armored cars? Did I finish armored cars? Where is it? Armored car brigade. Okay, there it is, right there. That will allow us to build armored cars, which we will definitely do. I think that was another one we just left open. Are we sinking ships here? Not many. I'm a little surprised we lost that. It's one of those... Oh, that's a crappy position to have lost, too, because it would have been so easy to... Well, it's not as easy to take as it, as it would have been to hold. Alright, well, we came across another British fleet. We lost another pre-dreadnought. They lost a bunch of armored cruisers. Oh, one of our regular dreadnoughts actually took a hell of a beating. Alright, so let's take these guys. And we're going to cut these guys off. Well, I don't know who's over here anymore, really. It's kind of hard to tell. Mobile Warfare, nice. Oh, come on. You could have gotten in there so easily. He's trying to take all of Belgium right now. Apparently, this is going to be our Verdun. Where we throw everybody into the salient. Although we won. No, you guys stay freaking there. I didn't tell you to move. I wish we could make a little bit better progress down here. But we're working on it. We're working on it. I mean, it's a, it's a much better situation than it was. Much better. It could be so much worse. We're actually flying through this. It's, I mean, I think it's because there's so much less going on that we're managed to fly through it so quickly. As soon as this battle ends, these guys can focus on the defensive and we should be good. Yep. Should like you to stay right where you are. Ah, damn it. They got more troops in. Which means we need to cool it. But it's not like it's not... It, it is contained still, so we should be fine. Aha! Got him! We lost Glemic. A heart of the Empire. We got a, we got pretty strong lines, I feel, up here now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this, this looks at the moment. Might want to wait uh, with Russia until we have more more troops, though, because we've definitely bulged out the line. And it looks like it's Greek troops that are holding the city at the moment. Not very strong Greek troops. Armored Car Brigade! So, let's, uh, technology... Armored car gun, armored car armor, light tank brigade. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Right up to the top. Small fuel. We can actually take those ones off for now. Not do. I, I'm really more kind of interested in getting the tanks going. So, how do we want to do it? Let's look at production and brigade strengths. Armored cars. Uh, they have a soft attack of two. They have a defensiveness. Of two. Huh. They're fast, though. They don't seem too terribly useful at the moment. Hmm. They're less effective than cavalry, only they're faster. I don't necessarily know if I want to build any of those. 
They're not nearly as good as I expected. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a little sad. All right, now we're getting, well, we have more units. We have more mo guys moving in over here. We have more guys moving in over there, good. All right, the infantry has been, they're just hitting the cavalry right now because the cavalry is so much faster than the infantry. We're gonna arrive March 26th. It looks like they're almost there. Interesting. Anywho, let's see what we can do here. I don't think that should be amphibious. And there are four divisions in there that are should be wiped out. Uh, and can we support attack? And I think here can do it as well. Yeah, there can do it as well. Oh no, that's two separate provinces. My bad. That's not a big deal. Alright, well, the troops made it in there in time. And maybe I read that wrong, because I thought it said 26th, and it's the 24th, and those troops arrived. Time to add war goals? No. First? Must have uh, missed out on, like, a week. Hmm. I was really hoping to stick them on the bottom side of the Privet Marshlands, but that didn't exactly go as well as I'd planned. Something, something went amiss there. Something went askew. Alrighty. Alright, well, we'll try to fix that problem. Hopefully. Now, and right now, I'm kind of more interested in the goings-on in France, considering how well they've been going on. Whoa, integrated support advance. We oh, whoa! I didn't think that taking the one city would do it. They had two VPs. Acquired territory on Serbia. So Serbia just collapsed. And I got all of it, I think. Okay, so um, that's that. Now let's do this. Let's see here. Now we gotta reform a line against Montenegro. I uh, didn't anticipate that coming about so quickly. A little bit of IC. Nice. And anti-aircraft guns. Oh, you know what? We are out of time. So if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time.